In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this Polaroid effect inspired by 13 Reasons Why. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drew here, and as you can see, this is the final output. Now this photo effect is inspired by 13 Reasons Why, a web series produced by Netflix. I saw the promotional material and I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. We can create something like that in Photoshop. And now we have a tutorial. So to create it, first of all, let's look at the original photo. This is the photo. You can go to file, open any photo you like. Now, of course, we have to remove the background and it's actually pretty easy on this photo. Just select your quick selection tool, right click, quick selection and make selection of the model. Once selection is ready, go and click on your layer mask icon. So the background is gone and we only have the model. Now we will add the background. And to do that, click on this little icon here and then select gradient. In the gradient, click here and select your standard black and white gradient. Now we actually need three color, not only black and white, but one in the middle as well. So when you see this hand sign, do a click and now you have three options for the colors. Now click on the first one here go to its color and in the color actually I picked up this color from the actual photo from which I'm creating the effect so this one the code is BBC7D3 after that hit OK then click on the middle one and go to its color it's 758DA5 then hit OK and now let's look at the last one so do a click and go to color 0F233C so it's basically three different colors of blue, hit OK, hit OK. Now in the style, we actually need radial. So the color is circular. And then after the, in the scale, go and make it 177. So the transition is really soft and hit OK. So background is ready. Now let's put it under the model. Now let's see how we can fix the hair and edges because they don't look that great. And to do that, first of all, activate your layer zero. And before we fix that, I'm gonna reposition the model. And for that, simply press Ctrl T and then rotate it a little bit. So first of all, photo is straight. Then I'm gonna bring him down a little bit so we don't have any empty area at the bottom. I think this is pretty good. Confirm it. Now let's fix the hair and edges. First of all, uh, click on your layer mask here, then right click and select and mask. Now uh, in the transparency, make sure it's 100% so we can see the background completely. Now for the edges, just simply make it a bit more smooth. And then shift it a little bit on the minus side. So the dark portions are gone. That's good. Hit OK. Now we will fix the hair. For that again, right click and select and mask. And this time make sure the second tool is active, refine edge and just simply paint on the edge of hair and it should do the job. Hit OK and bam now we have to do some color correction on the model but before we do that let's finish up the background now activate your gradient fill one then click on your adjustment layers and select a solid color and in the color make sure it's completely black and hit ok after that go to your filter noise and select add noise uh, and if it says rasterize just simply rasterize it then in the amount uh, it depends how much noise do you want you can look at the original photo and see how much it has and here make sure it's uniform and monochromatic and hit OK. After that go to your blend mode here and then change it to screen and you have this really nice noisy background that looks a bit retro. Now let's look at the adjustment on the model. For that activate your layer 0 and first of all let's rename it to you know model. Now go to your adjustment layer and first of all select curves. The original photo is a little bit darker. So I'm going to make it bright and after that turn on my clipping mask so only the model gets bright and not the background. Close it. Now I'm going to create another adjustment layer and this time I'm going to select channel mixer because like the skin tone on the model it doesn't match well with the background. So to fix it first of all make sure you are in red channel and in the red go and make it 73. Then into green go and make it 14 and then 10 in the blues. After that, go to your blue channel. Here in the red, add a little bit of it, so plus five. Green is zero, blue is 100, and everything is default. Then go and close it. Now let's add the Polaroid photo. For that, go to file, and then select place embedded, and select this Polaroid photo, place it, confirm it. Now we only need the photo, not the other nonsense around it. 
for that right click here and select your rectangular marquee tool and first of all make selection of the outside edge like this and to modify your selection you can simply right click and select transform selection and then you can modify it however you like so i think this is pretty all right after that we want to delete the outside area and for that go to your select and inverse so outside area is selected but right now it will not allow me to delete it you see so to do that right click here and then select rasterize your layer so you can delete it delete gone and to remove the selection go to select and deselect now do the same thing on the inside make selection of the black portion the polaroid is ready now press ctrl t hold your shift key and make it a bit smaller and place it exactly where you want it to be looks perfect now let's add in the model that we will put inside the polaroid for that go to file place embedded and select the model place it confirm it now this of course will go under the polaroid now press ctrl t and then move it around like this then hold your shift key and make her a little bit bigger like this and then i'm gonna rotate the photo so the nose aligns properly now of course we cannot see what's going on behind so for that you can reduce the opacity so we have better idea it can be a little confusing i know but keep the opacity like 30 40 percent and then try to align eye of model with the eye of uh, the boy behind it so i'm gonna go and make it a little bit bigger Now I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. So select your move tool and after that use your arrow key to move her around a bit. So I think this is all right. Now we have to erase all the outside area and for that simply apply a layer mask. Select your brush tool and in the color make sure you have black color. Now before you start erasing right click and make sure hardness is 100% and it will make your life a lot easier. Just do a click here then hold your shift key and do a click here. Then do a click here. Now just make your brush really big using your bracket keys and erase all the unnecessary area. Now let's say you do all of this and you feel like readjusting the model. Just simply select your move tool and activate the model and after that turn off link here on the mask and then move around the model a little bit and you can do it easily. And again you can use your arrow key for that so it's a handy tip that can save you a lot of time so i think this looks perfect now let's do some color correction on the model for that go to your adjustment layer and then again select channel mixer in the channel mixer we will again start with the red channel in the red channel first of all in the red it's 81 then in the green it's 8 and in the constant go and make it minus 3 and again turn on your clipping mask so it will only show up on the model right after that go to your blue channel and in the blue again go to your reds here make it 10 green is 0 blue is 100 and in the constant go and make it 3 so we have this really nice tone on the model as you can see the difference it makes now I'm also gonna make the model a little bit more contrasty for that go to your adjustment layer and again select curves and then turn on your clipping mask and then make it a little bit brighter from here and then a little bit darker from here so we have good contrast and i'm gonna lift up the shadows a little bit okay then close it now let's make the boy blur so we have really nice depth of field for that activate your model one layer then activate the layer mask and right click select apply layer mask after that right click here and then select convert to smart object then go to your filter blur and gaussian blur and here apply like 7 to 8 pixels so 8 pixel looks really nice hit ok and because we turned it into smart object you can always just double click on the Gaussian blur and change it however you like so as you can see now we have really nice depth of field and separation now I'm gonna go and activate my Polaroid layer this one and apply a little bit of shadow on the model to do that press ctrl J so we have a copy of Polaroid then double click on it and rename it to Polaroid shadow after that right click go to blending options and here apply a drop shadow and a drop shadow go and put it something like this and then I'm gonna reduce the distance a little bit this looks nice hit ok now I don't want shadow on the outside I only want on the inside so just simply get your eraser tool 
and erase the rest of area so we don't have any you know outside shadows and then take this layer and put it under your polaroid so we only and only have oops <laughs> so we only and only have shadow on the edge shadow is done now i'm gonna add some highlights on the photo and to do that create new blank layer and rename it photo highlight Take this layer and put it under your polaroid shadow then right click here and then select your polygon lasso tool do a click here do a click here and then do a click here like this and do a double click to finish the selection after that right click on the paint bucket tool and make sure color here is white and fill it then go to select and deselect now i'm gonna add in some blur and for that go to filter blur and Gaussian blur add a little bit of blur maybe something like this if it goes outside don't worry about it just add in a little bit of blur so I think this looks nice hit ok then grab your eraser tool and erase whatever is outside then go to your blending option and change it to soft light so we have this really nice highlight on the photo makes it look a lot more realistic and then change the opacity to somewhere around like 70% so it blends in better and actually I'm gonna go to drop shadow and also reduce its opacity to like 40% so it's not too harsh hit ok everything looking good now for the final step let's add in the paper clip for that go to file place embedded now original photo is this one but it had a lot of polaroid by default and line was curvy I had to straighten it out there was a lot of work so I did it for you guys and now you can simply download it from my DeviantArt page. You are welcome. So place it, confirm it. Now of course the clip will go on top of the Polaroid like this. Then select your move tool and adjust it here. And then press Ctrl T and now make it big enough so the rope goes outside and the clip stays in the middle like this. looking good now I don't want this rope here on the top uh, so I'm gonna select my brush tool then apply a layer mask on the clip layer and make sure color here is black and then make my brush bit smaller and erase the rope and never forget that it is on a layer mask so if you erase something by mistake you can change it to white color and bring that thing back now we have to add in some contact shadow here for the clip and for that create new blank layer and put it under your clip and rename it to clip shadow after that make sure your brush tool is active and color here is black and then draw something like this it doesn't have to be realistic don't worry about it just draw a really thin line like this after that go to your filter blur and then select Gaussian blur and the Gaussian blur make sure it's not too much or maybe somewhere around like 10 pixels seems good hit ok and again reduce the opacity to like 40-50% so it blends in properly and we have this really nice sh contact shadow for the clip and now we will do some color correction on the clip and the rope to do that make sure your clip layer is active then create new adjustment layer and just like every time select channel mixer now here first of all let's go to red channel and in the red I'm gonna go and make it 95 then green is 0 in the blue I'm gonna make it minus 5 and the constant is also minus 5 and turn on your clipping mask so it will only show up on the clip then go to your blue channel first of all in the red go and make it 14 green is 0 make the blue 92 and in the constant Go and make it 7 then go and close it and you can see the difference for yourself and that's it and this is exactly how i created the polaroid effect from 13 reasons why you can also add in some text to make it look more professional and that's pretty much it so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop